Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to set up a VM on Pimox, Proxmox running on a Raspberry Pi 4. Navigate to and log into the Pimox web UI, and plug in a USB 3 flash drive to run the VM from. Select the Pimox node, then under Disks, select ZFS. Click the Create ZFS button. Select the USB flash drive and give the storage a name, then click Create. Now that we have some storage to store the VM on, let's expand the Pimox node name and select the local storage device. Click ISO images. We're going to grab the Ubuntu server ARM64 ISO URL. Click download from a URL and paste it. Click query URL and then click download. Now we'll wait for a minute or two while the ISO is downloaded to the Pimox host. Once the download completes, we're ready to create the VM. So right click on the Pimox node, create VM. Give the VM a unique ID and a name. On the OS tab, select Do Not Use Any Media. Set the BIOS to UEFI and set the EFI storage device. Set the disk size for the VM. I'll be setting mine to 16 gigabytes. Set the number of CPU cores and set the CPU type to host. Set the amount of memory for the VM. I'll be using one gigabyte. Leave the defaults on the network tab. Select the newly created VM, and then select hardware. Click the CD DVD drive to select it, then click remove and yes to confirm. Next, we'll add a new CD drive setting the device to SCSI, and select the Ubuntu server ISO we downloaded earlier. Then we'll add a serial port to use for the initial setup. Double click the display option, and set the graphic card to serial terminal zero. Select options from the left navigation, double click boot order, and drag the CD drive to the top of the boot order list. Click start at the top right of the screen, and then from the console dropdown, select xterm.js. After a few seconds, we should see the Ubuntu server grub menu. Select install Ubuntu server. At this point, follow the prompts to configure and install Ubuntu server. I'll be fast forwarding the footage here as there's nothing out of the ordinary with the setup. Once the installation completes, close the xterm.js window and stop the VM. Navigate back to the VM hardware, double click the CD drive and select do not use any media. Start the VM again and select xterm.js from the console dropdown. At this point we're running a Ubuntu server VM on your Raspberry Pi, but what if we wanted a desktop environment? Log into Ubuntu server with the credentials created during the install. Next, we'll install XFCE so we can have a graphical user interface. So update the software repositories, and then we'll run apt install XFCE4 to install the GUI. When prompted to configure LightDM, press enter, then arrow down to set LightDM as the default display manager, and press enter again. The installation will take a couple minutes. Once it completes, we'll shut down the VM. Navigate back to the VM hardware setup, double click the display option, and set the graphic card to default. Then select the serial port, and click remove, and yes to confirm. Click start to power on the VM, this time select the normal console option. After the Proxbox boot animation, we'll see a display is not active message. Wait here for a few seconds, and the Ubuntu server login screen should appear. Log back in with the password set during the installation. Welcome to your Ubuntu VM with a desktop environment running on Proxmox from your Raspberry Pi 4. 